Hey, this is Simon from Caddis Fly Shop. Today here we have Hairline's Fomanizer line of stuff that's coming out that we're really excited about. It's a super modular system that you use to organize your desk and all of your stuff. There's tons of different stuff and I'm gonna make it all clear right now. So starting in the middle here we have the Fomanizer Magnum. This is the largest size. It's this section right here. Um, it's 18 and a half inches and it can hold all sorts of stuff. You have these pegs in the back for thread, all these slots and stuff for, you know, your bobbins, your bodkins, your UV glue, your, uh, you know, material clips, hackle pliers, everything can go in here. Your dubbing brushes, stuff like that. And then if you don't have quite this much space, we have the standard size. which is 16 inches, the Fomanizer standard. Um, as you can see, you know, it holds a UV resin light perfectly, dubbing wax, uh, these underfur combs, tweezers, dubbing spinners, anything you need, you can put here and it just organizes your stuff so you're not digging through stuff to find the things you need. Everything can have a home on your desk. Um, moving over here then, we have the uh, thread rack, the Fomanizer thread rack and spool rack. Um, this for the stuff that you don't readily need back here on these other pegs can be your back stock of all your thread. It has several pegs and just like tons of storage. You can fit tons of spools on it. Um, and then coming over here, this one's really cool. This one is the resin and glue Fomanizer, which is specifically for your UV resins, your head cements, uh, you know, the flashlight can fit over here too. You can fit markers over here. Um, and this is really cool. It's like low profile, so it's easy to get these out. They don't uh, sink very far in. Um, and again, all this is very modular. You can mix and match what you need. You really decide this on your needs and how much space you have on your desk. That's the cool thing. Um, and I'm gonna explain in a bit how this all goes together. Coming up front here, we have, this is the large tube storage. Um, perfect for large hooks, beads, if you have a hook that you use a lot of that you could put about 50 or even more probably in one of these, you can store a ton of stuff. You can put big dumbbell eyes, large cones, if you're tying streamers, stuff like that. Coming back here, we have the small hook and bead storage, which has three different sizes. These small tubes, these very small tubes, if you're tying little midges and stuff, you can fit tons of little hooks in there. And then this is like a normal little hook storage. Um, they just kind of pop open here. And uh, you have several of those back here. Um, then the last thing for, uh, just the main line of stuff is they have this magnetic fly umbrella for, for if you're using head cement and stuff to let your flies dry after it spins. If they're small, you can poke them in up here because um, it's foam, but really cool. It rotates, um, it gets them out of your space when you're done tying and just more organization. Then up here we have the fly drying hammock up here. which is pretty much the same thing, but just a long kind of almost clothesline type thing to hold your drying flies. Um, and that's that. So now moving on here, we have several different junctions to hold stuff together. Um, starting in front here, you might've been wondering how this is raised like this. And this actually has um, the riser uh, junction thing you can see right here. This piece right here is what makes it a riser. So to put that together, you actually would pop this off. How all of these go together is with these little pegs and these spacers. So to do that, to set this one up, you kind of just pop this off down here. And uh, you can see right here, actually, I'll show you, this is an easier way to do it. Um, you pop this off. And then down here you can see uh, 
here is where uh, the riser is. Got to just kind of get in here and pop these all off. So now I can slide this off. So here is what the uh, large tube looks like when you get it. It is not connected to this, but right here, I'm not going to take it all apart because it's going to take a little bit, but this right here is the riser piece. It comes with these two, and you can attach it to the back of any of these, um, and it will bump whatever you want up higher. In our case, we chose to do the hook and bead storage. Um, to put it back together, you just snap it right here, and you just pop it in the, the tube right here. It's kind of tough for me to see, but yeah, you pop that in, and then pop the top down. Same thing here in the middle and you do that. Um, there's different size pegs, which I'll explain in a little bit here, but that's kind of how you do it. Every, all the construction with this is with these little pegs and uh, the foam spacers is how all of this works. So there's the riser. Over here we have the um, foamizer extender right here. It comes in a pack with a couple of them. And that is what this is right here. It can provide a pivot point. It can go 90 degrees and go flush. Um, I like it for corners because I like to keep all of my, I have a square desk, so I like to put a cup right here is where I keep my larger feathers, like my pheasant tail feathers and my turkey feathers. And this works perfectly because I don't really lose space and I still have that storage for my larger feathers. If you want an angled storage or you want something that moves, the extender is really good because it can pivot for you right over there. Same thing to put this on, you just pop it on, take it off, and right here, you know, it's just kind of plug and play here. You just pop stuff off and put it back on. Um, next, we're going to talk about the, the Fomenizer Straight Junction, which is a junction that provides a little bit of storage. It looks like this. It's not going to be a flush. Uh, extension like the extender but it's pretty cool and I'll show you how this one goes on it's just like the other stuff it pops in right here and then you stick that down and then right here and it will line up in line with your storage right here um, and then if you want to do it like with this you would Pop this in here. And kind of wiggle that in. And pop that in the bottom. And then back here, you will slide this in. And then punch this through this back hole here. And then that way, it keeps um, your storage still lines up here. So as you can see, it goes through the connector. The last piece we have here is this angled junction, which you can see right here. It puts it at an angle right here. And again, and to set that up, it's the same thing. You use the tubes back here. You put the uh, rods through. You have to take out the spacers and you were to put it in and it creates a corner for you. Um, so that's all the pieces. Now to talk about the stuff that goes together. If you need more spacers, there's, you can buy more Fomenizer spacers. If you want to bump things up higher even, you can raise things up by putting more spacers under and using different size rods. So they come in small sizes, which is for this stuff. Um, then this is the medium size, which is a little bit longer. You can see we put one here. It's about the height of this riser right here. Um, you can put that if you got like one spool that you use a lot or maybe like a wire or lead, you can stick that there. And then, um, or and if you wanted to raise this up, you would push this through the bottom and add the feet. You would add two spacers and that would bump it up to this height without the back. And then here you have these tall rods that are for, you know, thread storage and stuff like that. Um, back here we used one of the medium ones to show that it's flush if you want to take these out. If you want to take any of these out in the back, you would use the medium uh, rods for a flush fit. 
Um, on any of these shorter ones, you would use the uh, short rods for that. So it's a really cool system that we're excited about. Um, it can hold anything you want. And the really cool thing is you can look at your desk and you're kind of just limited by your imagination with this stuff. Uh, it's available online. If any of this is still confusing, you can reach out to us. Uh, it's available online at caddisflyshop.com and you can give us a call if you have any questions or email us. We can help make things clear if you're still confused. Thanks. See ya.